So there's been a little bit of disagreement on the courts recently between Justice Kennedy and our good friend, not really, but the not so wise, there forever, Jesus take the wheel, Clarence Thomas. Tensions concerning uh, prison conditions flared up at the Supreme Court not too long ago. Justice Anthony Kennedy um, chose to stray from the merits of the case at hand to question the use of solitary confinement in prisons. Now, Kennedy is adamantly against solitary confinement. He thinks it's inhumane or, like our Constitution says, cruel and unusual punishment. And he made that very so. He said that, you know, very clearly. So this is a case about Hector Ayala, um, you know, who was convicted of a triple murder, who was going to be sentenced to, he was in solitary confinement for 25 years. And this is what Kennedy writes, that Ayala had been, had, has been held for all of most of the past 20 years or more in a windowless cell no larger than a typical parking space for 23 hours a day. And in the one hour when he leaves it, he, will, he's li he is likely he is likely allowed little or no opportunity to converse or interact with anyone else. Thomas, in response, said the following. Given that his victims were all 31 years of age or under, Ayala, who will soon have had as much or more time enjoying the accommodate, uh, will have much or more time enjoying the accommodations as his victims has had at enjoying their time on Earth. Now, you guys already know at the Fowler Show that we think solitary confinement is awful because literally it's, it's insane and it's cruel and unusual punishment. But, and I get it, I under, like honestly, guys, I understand where Clarence Thomas is coming from, I just don't understand how he gets that argument. I agree, killing three people who are all under 31 is a very heinous thing, just like killing nine innocent individuals in a church is a crazy thing. But, as much as I want you know, Dylan Roof to suffer, I also understand that this one thing, I would rather see him rot in jail for the rest of his life, living behind bars, not in solitary confinement, because that doesn't solve anything, because you cannot. The Bible's pretty clear about this, you know, justice. You gotta turn the other cheek, right? The ultimate, now I'm not saying we forget, I'm not saying we forget, but all I'm saying is, is as a nation, we have got to say that this is inhumane and no one deserves this, whether they killed or they didn't kill. Because we don't want the person who died to be treated this way, now would we? No. So, I agree with Kennedy in this particular case that like putting somebody at this level of, you know, whether, whether they need to suffer or not, like I mean, this is just, you're making them utterly and totally mentally unstable. I mean, they literally go crazy in there not talking to anybody, not interacting with humans, and I get they have to suffer, so put them in the penitentiary for life. But having them living in a parking, or something not bigger than a parking space for the rest of their life is, some, is a really sick thing. I'm sorry. Sick. In the next